Hey guys, how's it going? It's Atsu. So today I've got a very quick question for you. All right, so the question is, which one do you think is correct? I graduated from university versus I graduated university. Which one do you think is correct? So my first thought was, well, definitely number one, because without having from in between, you know, between graduate and university, it sounds like there is something missing, right? And I think a lot of you guys watching this video are on the same page with me because from is often taught as like a necessary element, you know, when you use the verb graduate, right? But immersing myself in the world of English, I came across lots of lots of native speakers who say graduate university. So directly after I graduated university in New York. So I graduated university in 2013. I graduated university in 2014. So I'm still a little bit on the fence as to which one I should use, right? I graduated from university or I graduated university. So to get to the bottom of this, I decided to ask one of my favorite Cambly tutors to dig a little bit deeper into this and figure out which one I should use. And before you check out the conversation, I want to let you know that there is a full transcript available on our official line account. So what you've got to do on our account is you just need to type in this keyword. Okay, so that's it. That's pretty much it. very straightforward. Um, and there are so many other English materials available for free on our line account. So if you haven't got your hands on them, you should definitely do so. All right, so let's check out the video. Let's jump in. Hey, Atsu, how are you? Hey, how are you? Long time no see. Yeah, long time no see. <laughs> how are you? Doing pretty well. Yeah, just a bit busy, but that's it. I'm busy with just family matters and trying to get things done. So family matters. Mm -hmm. As in, you have a family now, or oh with, no, with your, with your I, not that I have a family now. Just my my parents and my dog. Parents. Yeah, and, and your dog. Right. Are <laughs> yeah. you? Are you staying in the same house? Yes, we are. Okay, so today um, I've got one topic, um, but it kind of slipped my mind, so I'm trying to recall what I was going to talk about. Um, uh, so, yeah, the word graduate, graduate, so the verb graduate, like completing a course of study and that kind of stuff. Um, when you say you graduated the institution, would you say I graduated from like high school or graduated high school? So is the preposition from really necessary? Because always in my mind, I was like, you know, from is definitely necessary when I use the verb graduate. So I would often say I graduated from school, I graduated from the university. But nowadays, I kind of like got to the point where I realized there are many people who don't use the preposition from, and I was wondering if there is any difference. It's just a personal preference kind of thing, or what is this? It could, could be personal preference, and it could also be regional. Um, mm -hmm. I know for myself that I use from graduated from high school, so um, I don't. I'm not sure whether I used. I have used graduated high school at all. Um, Mm -hmm. Just because I'm an English teacher, and so from is pretty necessary in order to do that. But I know there are lots of cultural things out there that are different from the accepted grammatical norm, if, mm -hmm. if you know what I mean. So, yeah. so you don't use graduate as a transitive verb, but you'd always right. use it as an intransitive verb, so with the preposition. Okay, so it's probably a matter of personal preference or regional difference. Um, Another one that I have heard of that really messes with my head is um, using the structure have went. Have went? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's That's a why... very common thing that I have heard of in really? um, people. Yeah. People, YouTubers that I've heard um, just repeatedly saying have went or have saw mm. or have something i don't know it, whatever have and then past tense verb oh. it's just really odd now sometimes yeah. they go back to the have and then the past um the past participle you know mm -hmm. uh the perfect form but 
um, I've I've been hearing that more often. Have went, have, have went, went. and That's I'm big. like, <laughs> yeah, <Over What>? <laughs> So if I ever hear someone in person say that, I'm gonna ask them why or mm -hmm. how they learned to use grammar in that way. So, mm. Yeah. So have you went to instead of maybe have you been to maybe that Mostly, could be a possibility. I it's like I have went there. Um, I'm not sure whether they, you know, automatically say, have you went? Mm -hmm. um, I don't think I've heard that question. In, well, I don't think I've heard that grammatical structure used in that sort of question before. Mm -hmm. But I know in a statement like I have went. Mm -hmm. I've heard that plenty of times. And it's just a little bit like a little bit like um, nails on a chalkboard to me. <laughs> but mm -hmm. it's a thing. And I think it might be people coming out of california i'm not sure but i've noticed a lot of youtubers saying things like that and mm. so it's just a little bit mind-blowing to me but yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. so usually it's in a positive sentence yeah. in a positive mm -hmm. normal sentence so not in the question maybe not in the negative sentence either like i haven't went there it, i haven't went there um i haven't heard that as much so i can't really say but mm -hmm. um if they say i have went then they probably might say <laughs> yeah i haven't went mm. so